Welcome back. Today I'll have a uh, capture the flag for you. And uh, this isn't my favorite game mode. I'm not too good at it. But I did my best and we actually pulled it off. So I'll do the run through of what happened, what I was thinking. Some of these actions don't really have any forethought. It's just muscle reflex and reaction. All right, so to start off, I went with Ash to, uh, for good defense and offense. The sniper, it's a quick scope aim. Unlike Widowmaker, where you have to hard scope to charge up and do a one shot, Ash it takes three shots to kill most things except for tanks. My business, my I was just in here having fun, waiting for the time countdown. Wanted to get some target practice in, and I think that really worked as a placebo to help my aim. Either that, or I just, you know, remembered how to play. The shotgun does push you back, that's why I used it right there. You get a little boost ahead of others. So I can start getting my kills early. You know, boost my KD, maybe get play of the game as Ash. Uh, my first mistake here was running in the middle, because as a sniper you're supposed to be up top somewhere. But I think I kind of um did some damage on him and helped my team kind of wither their middle force. Usually in so I caught me off guard when it came to my face. I almost uh, took him out though with the shotgun. They were just faster than me. In this game mode, you'll notice I die. Uh, not a lot per se, but uh, often enough. You know, I put that Harry there to motivate myself to go faster and motivate the team. Also, it just looks nice. And that shot was really lucky for me. I had to get that headshot before they went behind that game. Otherwise, I couldn't get nothing. That Ryan has a peculiar character to play in this one because he's not fast and he can't really protect the flag uh, from anyone who runs in and tries to grab it. But he does really help when you're defending most of the time. Right here, I just got a, some hits off of other characters. Wasn't really going for a kill, I was going for Alright, let's see how low I can get them. But that game really stayed still enough for me to get him. A couple of times. Took both of them down to a one third of their normal health, and they don't regenerate, so next time I see them, I can kill them easy. It's like right there. Accidentally threw that bomb too high, underestimated her arm. And that bastard right there, way was a pay to take him because he can regenerate himself. That's one of his specials. Let's take a while though. That right there. That's when I realized, oh yeah, I forgot I could push them back too. And uh, here's where I blitzed it. Killed the Genji, rushed in, killed the Bastion, took out the Echo. And at this point, I have to run that uh, system again. Roadhog almost took me out, so I called him Bob to block some of the shots and take him down. Living on four health over here. Could, um, could easily die from one of those stray shots that were passing me by. Yes, they didn't have your team has I put the uh, flag down, got good, go over here, get some food, and I can run back in. Through shields, that's why Reinhardt was having a hard time blocking it. Uh, Mori could easily kill the Reinhardt if Genji wasn't there. They were too far for me to actually get there and do something, so at this point I just had to set up, let them take the flag, and find a way to pick them off more.
that toy boy was going to cause trouble, so I had made it a point to kill him as fast as possible so he can't set his turn. Now right here is one of the moments where it didn't have any reasoning, it just was a reflex. I saw something in my way and I tried to punch it, but it uh, punches only does like 10 damage or something. Not a lot of damage, but if you're low enough and you're out of ammo, you can take him out. They are getting on my nerves. The enemy has taken your flag. Recover your flag. At this point, I was kind of keep the Reinhardt from dying because we needed him as a shield for one of those. And that TNT came in clutch with that Echo. I was about to fall off, but thanks to um, McCree, I didn't, because he killed the Roadhog before his ult actually pushed me back. That quick scope right there is what I was talking about earlier, where Widowmaker would have to take more time, I could just aim and shoot. And that was also a reflex, because right when I saw him, I was like, red, fire. The reason I hesitated right there is because I didn't know if it was an edge or not, and I didn't want to fall off to my own stupidity. Right here I had to double check the area, make sure there was no bastion, but I think I caused too much noise because right here, that uh, roadhog found me and took me out. However, I took down the turret, so I think it was a win on my part for the whole, uh, you know, withering their forces. My ultimate is ready. Maybe, well, not making around this point. I was a little frightened because there was no one on the flag. That quick scope right there, too. The fire was pretty fast. And when I saw this dash and start moving when I flagged, I tried to take him out as fast as possible. But he has a lot more HP and can kill himself. So there wasn't much I could do there, which is why I'm thankful that Genji came in with his Take out that Mora so that her, she can't heal him. Her teammate when they drop down right here and uh he can't damage us that one was a reflex too i saw the toy beam and i just pulled my shotgun to get some space between us but we were right there on the edge so killed him and we turned our flag at the same time that's what i was saying earlier i couldn't rush down middle so i sent my bob and based on the kill, excuse me, based on the kill feed, uh, it did look like Bob got the bash and the bash and got the Bob, which means he ran away and he's not protecting the flag. So if I actually communicated more and said on my Bob, like go in on Bob, we probably would have gotten the flag. But I'm still, I'm still uh, posted that I got a kill off the Bob. Nothing too crazy happened yet. It's just. Us pushing and then pushing. Basically, an equal force. Nobody really can get any grounding. I feel the TNT to kind of guide my enemies on where to go to where I need them to be, you know? Because it gives them time to move out of the way if I don't shoot it. And when they move out of the way, I can anticipate where they're headed. For sudden death, I went with Junkrat, mainly because uh, we needed traps around our uh, around our flag. There's no way around it. If I was going to be Ash, there would be no possible way I could get the flag and protect the base at the same time. Which is why I went with Junk. He has his traps, he has his TNT. Or not the TNT, he has his mines. And he does a lot of damage. I want to be the first one there so I can set up my trap and shoot before um, my team has any, well not before my team, before their team has any bearings on what to do. That 
reaction kind of scared me, but I realized that uh, two shots were taken out after the first couple of shots. I was like, okay, this does this must be it. You know? That diva got me because uh, her, what's it called? Her forward shield. It protects her from all projectiles, and it took out my bomb before it hit her. At this point, I'm a little, uh, not scared per se, but a little, uh, worried because I saw that they almost had our flag. Good thing our basher was right here, even though I think Basher's attack is pretty good that, uh, we have one. And since their Basher is set up right, I have to either take it out or go the other way. I was trying to rush up on him, but I guess the extra shots really took him out. When those two came in, I thought I was done for sure, but some quick thinking and a good uh, mind placement gave me the double kill. I did see their echo perched up there for a minute, and uh, their Joker and Neko had a good combo on me. However, our Sunday right there is doing some reconnaissance, so we can see who's there and how we can adjust our plan accordingly. Our uh, Tracer captured the flag and she's just heading there or uh, heading to place it down since she's one of the faster characters. You can't use her specials with the flag, so Tracer can't um, warp or anything. It's just her pure speed. And uh, thanks for watching my video. If you want some more killer content like this, subscribe for more.